to this week's episode of WOW for September 5th, 2010. On Friday the 27th of August, Johnny Walker, or better known as Mr. Wrestling 2, underwent bypass heart surgery. It was successful, and he's expected to be released in a few days. Good, good, good. Randy Orton is dealing with a sore neck and shoulder after August 28th, Saturday's Raw event. Orton's injury is not immediate being considered serious, but he'll have it checked out. Joey Mercury had surgery last weekend on his torn pectoral muscle. He'll be out of action for six months, but he'll remain on TV. After the Legends of Wrestling's wrong table taping on Wednesday night, Sergeant Slaughter was hospitalized in Stamford after becoming lightheaded. The cause of Sergeant's discomfort was low blood level, which was addressed. Sarge was in great spirits Wednesday night after receiving medical care, but was kept overnight for observation, which is usually what they do. I think they meant low blood sugar level. I'm not a doctor. Is there such thing as a low blood level? I better get mine checked. I'll have to find that damn dipstick. Luna Vajan was actually found dead in her own temporary home, not in a mother's home. Investigators say they discovered a box containing crushed oxycodone pills near a snorting straw. The box containing oxycodone was beside a pile of blue chalky debris next to a small straw in Luna's kitchen. Multiple prescription bottles and miscellaneous unsecured pills were discovered in the master bedroom alongside a small plate containing more pill residue and another snorting straw. Vijan's mother, the person who discovered about it, told police that her daughter often appeared medicated as she suffered from several wrestling injuries. An autopsy has been completed and the official cause of death is expected to be determined within the next few weeks. Shelton Benjamin has joined Twitter. His account would be ShelteyB803. Jim Cornette also joined Twitter. His account is the Jim Cornette. Carlito tweeted, My no compete expires in two days. Let me go out and see what freedom smells like. Shawn Michaels tweeted Monday, No, I won't be there, meaning a Raw 900th episode. I have business elsewhere that day and Tuesday, sorry. He also mentioned he turned down two movie roles, saying he would rather be silly than serious. Yeah, I can see that. During the Raw, Shawn Michaels tweeted, I heard I'm getting mentioned on Raw. Free publicity for me. Hooray! Got a dinner meeting. See you all later. MVP recently shot down rumors on his Twitter that he would be debuting a new rapper gimmick. He posted the following. A. My name is not Alvin Burke. B. I'm not working on a rapper gimmick. And C. My new intro will debut soon with me and Cena's project to follow. Jericho said... Jericho said on his Twitter account that he was asked to be on Dancing with the Stars but declined due to scheduling conflicts. He also said he hopes to be a part of the show in the future. Austin tweeted this week, Got a lot of reports from CA Punk using my ring music and calling me out. I enjoy his work, and I wish him the best. Go get him, kid. I, that really sucked. Cena tweeted about being... An NXT Pro, he said. Yes, I asked, and I was denied. Apparently, you need more than two moves to officially become a pro. Chris Jericho tweeted, I was only able to recover 20% of the final book edit. I am now officially 80% insane. WWE Champion Layla is taking a break from Twitter. She tweeted, I think I'm officially off Twitter. I need a break from some of the BS on here. I'm tired of some having easy access to me. Much love, Lay. September 2nd, Matt Hardy tweeted, Gotta state this. I'm sick and tired of being hurt, 
being misused and not being shown the respect that I've earned. Something has to change. Teddy Hart, the youngest wrestler to be signed to the WWE contract, entered a rehab center, ironically the same one that Scott Hall is staying at. Hart said he entered the rehab center because his uncle Bret Hart told him to go. If he completes the center's program, it may persuade the WWE to give him another chance. Raw's last night scored hours of 3.35 and 3.64, thus giving the 900th episode a 3.5 cable rating. Whatever that means, I don't know. I don't know cable ratings. I don't know why I report them. <laughs> oh well. The Miz is featured on the cover of October's 2010 edition of WWE Magazine and is planning to give The Miz a big push. <laughs> I hope they push him off the pier. No. He, he's a good heel. I do hate him, no, I really do. A brawl broke out amongst fans on Saturday night's Raw event, August 28th. What was the cause of this brawl? John Cena's t-shirt. He tossed it in the crowd, and from there it started. Ten people got ejected from the arena. Kids were hurt. Really? People really need to learn how to buy their own damn shirts. WWE Diva Tiffany is scheduled to appear in court on September 2nd. She will be facing misdemeanor charges of assault. Tiffany was arrested back in August 8th in L.A. following an altercation with her husband, Drew McIntyre. The couple were reportedly headed back from a party at the Playboy Mansion when a loud incident led to the hotel security calling the local authorities, and Tiffany was taken into custody. It was announced during this week's Raw that the Divas champion, Melina, will face one half of the self-proclaimed co-women's champion, Team Le Cool, in the Night of Champions, in a match that will unify the women's and the Divas title. Additionally, every active WWE Diva on the roster will be at ringside as Lumberjills to ensure that it's a fair fight. You gotta love those Lumberjills. The Expendables went from first to third, taking in another $9.5 million to make it $82 million. The budget was also set for $82 million, so they're kind of broken even right now. John Cena's film Legendary opens September 10th. The Rock will star in a movie, Journey to the Mysterious Island, the sequel to the 2008's Journey to the Center of the Earth in 3D. Chris Jericho just finished the final edit of his new book, which said to be better than his first book. The book is expected to be released in February of 2011. Mary Michael, who is the agent for Mickey James, said recently, To lay the rumors to rest, as of yet, I can confirm that Mickey James has not signed a deal with TNA. Take that for what it's worth. Creative plans as of Monday night as for the WWE unifying all its championships within the next year. There will be one world title, one tag team championship, one intercontinental championship, and one women's title. This is said that the WWE world title unification match will take place at next year's WrestleMania. The chances of Team 3D returning to the WWE is very slim to none because the Senior Vice President of Talent Relations hates Brother Ray. Well, everybody loves Devon, but that's not enough to bring them two back. On Monday Night Raw, Chris Jericho said if he doesn't win the six-pack challenge at the Night of Champions, he's leaving the WWE. This might be his way to pave his way for the exit. Interviewed by the Boston Globe, Cena said, I'm not a big fan of the UFC. The UFC is where boxing was years ago. And I was never really into boxing either. I prefer pro wrestling because it's regulated entertainment that's safe for anyone to enjoy. The UFC is what it is, and it can be over the top, and it's not something I want my children to watch. I am fairly unexperienced when it comes to symptomatic acting, but I hope to continue my acting career. WWE has opened a poker site at wwepoker.com. People can win money and WWE prizes by entering for free. I checked it out. I wasn't too impressed with it. Go ahead, check it out yourself. Down there somewhere. 
You can listen to a sample of MVP's new theme song at, I'll put the link down there too. I went to the link and it didn't work for me, so I don't know if it'll work for you either. Katie Lee Burchill had a tryout match on TNA. No word if she has a contract with them or not. In an interview with Kane, he said, I'm still having fun. I'm really at the height of my career, and I don't have any plans of packing it in, at least not in the near future. So there you have it. The big red machine is parked for a while in the WWE. In an interview with Chris Jericho, he said he's going on tour with his band Fozzie, and his spot with the WWE is safe no matter what. He'll always be valued as a top worker for the company. I'm not one of those people who worries about my position. Jericho said, I'm never going to lose the spot. I could work for the opening match every night and still be a star. Jericho also commented on the young talent getting pushed into WWE. It's just the way it is. Most of the guys in the WWE are young guys and green, he said. It's not like it used to be. I spent nine years going through all around the place perfecting my craft. Now it's nine months. The brilliant thing about the Nexus angle is that they're taking seven guys who have not done a thing and throwing them into the hottest angle they could ever be involved in. You gotta take it for what it is and work with it. The WWE page listed upcoming appearances by celebrities. They have changed the terminology from guest host the guest star, since that's what they are. They're just stars now, since they brought back the general manager. Okay, this story's a mess. WWE confirmed they signed Isis, the Amazon, or they named her Aloisa. She is six foot, nine inches tall, which is taller than Cena and Orton, and the same height as the great Kali. That's one hell of a lady. She came from Florida Championship Wrestling. Then they started. Then they stated she was going to be on the next Divas NXT. Then the WWE pulled her from the NXT spot due to Vicky Guerrero, her pro coach, fired her. I guess the higher ups thought that she was too green to be on the NXT. So back down to the FCW, you go for now. She tweeted. Just know there is absolutely no replacing me. We all know there is just one of me in the entire world. I will be back. Speaking of the NXT, here's your next lineup. On Tuesday's NXT two season finale, we look at season three roster, which will be all divas. Here's a full roster of the rookies for season three. Naomi Knights, her pro will be Kelly Kelly. Maxine, her pro will be Alicia Fox. AJ Lee, her pro will be Primo. Askina, her pro will be Goldust. And Jamie Keys, her pro will be the Bella Twins. And Vicky Guerrero's new rookie diva will be announced on the NXT Season 3 premiere this Tuesday night on the Sci-Fi Channel. There has been reports that Nick Eugene Dinsmore has been rehired back to the WWE. These reports are false. Not true. And Victoria has once again been removed from the WWE.com alumni section after she officially returned to the TNA on Thursday. And Kazarni celebrates his 37th birthday on August 29th. Happy birthday, Kazarni. And that's it. See you next week. Bye. God, that was hell.